Hello farmers, this is Jane from Kimdi Group of Companies. Today I'm taking you through a 20 acres farm layout. And if you wish to know about dairy cows, you wish to know about poultry, about goats, about pastures, stick with me till the end, you're going to get the best out of it. Firstly, we have the warehouse where the harvest for the pastures will be stored, as you can see. Secondly, we have the poultry structures. This is a storage structure of 5,000 poultry, 2,500 down and 2,500 up. This structure, we have a fit bath pond for disinfection as you're entering the structure. Down, it's made of concrete for easy cleaning. We have the mesh, as you can see, for aeration inside the structure. We have timber pieces, as you can see see them the flooring is made of timber it's aligned in a way that manure from up doesn't fall into the poultry down to take care of that as you're constructing this structure we have the ramp for access of the structure outside here we have paddocks someone might ask why are paddocks there the paddocks are for poultry we have the workers quarters you need workers on the farm so you can't skip that another thing we have is 20 diary cow structure this structure has a lot of components it has a milking color so there is a section for old cows we also have a section for calves. This structure is designed in a way that when you look at this section for adult cows, it has a section for feeders and it has a section for sleeping tubicles. Why we put the tubicles? So that cows can feed simultaneously and easily to avoid these things of bullying and pushing. This side of sleeping, we also have cubicles. They are of dimensions that they can lie and raise easily. The flowering is of concrete for easy cleaning. You can see there are drainage channels when cows urinate. It will be easy for urine to fall off the concrete through the drainage channels where we collect from. Another thing we have about this structure is the aeration. You can see you can improve on the structure if you have enough resources. You can include the bedding where you can either put sand or you buy the mattresses. Another thing we have is the drinking point. You see every section of the structure there are drinking points. We have the spraying crash where you can put in your diary you spray them the other thing we have on our layout there are the pastures it will be up to you to choose which kind of pastures the pastures that shouldn't miss on your farm alfalfa sugar graze mukuna and so on so we also have 500 goats. You know our structures are always raised. You can see them. Why we raise these structures, we've been talking about this in our past videos. You keep the structure dry. As you can see, outside we have the spring crash. There are two of them. You see the exercise yard is section. We have the exercising area for the general flock and also the exercising area for expecting mothers. We also have outside feeders and they have a shed on top. That shed can protect the feeders down in cases of rain and they can also act as sheds for the goat when you put them outside during the sunny days. The other thing you can include there are the hills for them to run on and off like that. All around is a wire mesh. When you look at inside the floor ring is made of wood. It's compacted in such a way that droppings from the goats can fall off through those spacings that we put there to the ground and the ground is made of concrete. You don't have enough resources you can leave it as bare ground but I recommend concrete for you to clean off that manure easily because when you leave the ground bare it's not easy to keep it hygienic it is partition where we are separating the kids off the mothers and off the general flock where we put the partitioning is to ensure each age group or age bracket or gender enjoys the resources within the structure fully without any competition you know bugs they're aggressive so they can knock out all the kids from the feeding so we partition for them to 
feed very well and also to avoid certain things like miscarriages from the expecting mother. The other thing we have about the structure, they are the inside feeders. You know the goats are of zero so they can feed inside the structure and also can feed outside the structure. The roofing of the structure falls off a little bit on the area of the ramp to protect the wood on the ramp from rotting and also to keep that area dry during the rainy season. The other thing we have is the parking area when you're bringing in your feeds, let's say feeds for poultry.